Hey friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. Today we are doing the first official planting of 2024. It is super exciting. Brenna just got off her place. Brenna, go place. Back she goes. She gets very excited about all of this stuff. As Andrew said, she's very excited about potting the first plants for 2024. What we are doing is we are going to pot up the first round of perennials that have arrived to us from our friends at Walters Gardens. We have a beautiful selection. All of these plants today, I believe, are going to be for the retail garden center. We have different plants coming in um, for both like retail garden center and then the online sales. So I think all of these are going for uh, the garden center. We're going to show you the whole process. Of course, we are here in the annex where we have the potting machine. Uh, Mary got, I got here and they were already setting up everything. Mary Claire was in the Bobcat, uh, help putting the soil into the potting machine. I mean, you just want all sorts of tricks and trades around here when you come to work at gardening at Creekside Nursery. Lots of fun, but we are in here and it's relatively nice and warm in here. Of course, this is kind of that multi-purpose area right now. Uh, we've got a potting machine in here. We'll see how long it stays in here, but we're going to um, fill up these two production houses first. You can see that CC is over here on the back side getting all of the pots ready because that's where the pots come through. Jerry and Andrew are getting everything set up so that um, we want to make sure you have to adjust these rails um these these rails back here will adjust as far as their width and their height because you want the pot to just kind of kiss that just a little bit and then um this is the brush that when it comes through the pot comes through this will be spinning and it brushes off the excess soil um, so we adjust that as well because depending on the pot or the tray will de determine um, what the height is and the width and all of that. Um, we'll show you the whole process, but exciting because we have got the new conveyors set up. Of course, we have Mimi's here to help us, but we've got the new conveyors set up. And um, so we will use that and uh, have these guys just come down the line. You can see that we have them extended all the way to the door. We'll have the trailer set up outside and we will load, because some of these will be grown outside and then some of these will be grown here in um, the greenhouse. See behind us that we have got started doing uh, the trays for the annuals. So lots of fun things happening. Um, my great organizational ladies, I tell you, they're amazing. Uh, they have already gotten all the tags laid out. So we've got all the tags laid out. We have the barcodes laid out on them. So everything is super nice and organized. And then you can see behind us, or rather in front of me behind the table, that we have got the boxes of plants. The vast majority of them are from uh, proven winners and then some we call non-branded you'll see those in just the um, the brown boxes from Walters Gardens we'll go through and go through all of them that we can um, show you but we get our plants in an assortment of um, both um, a plug which you see here so that what a plug means is that you have got um, this is the main treasure iris see this is a plug so it's already in soil got the roots going so that's what all of these trays are we already had those set out and then everything else that's in a box those are bare root so we'll show you what a bare root is um, basically it literally is what it sounds like it's simply the roots nothing else no soil no nothing and then we add them in to um, soil and the containers so it is very exciting to have the first potting day here at Creekside Nursery with a um, gorgeous selection of perennials. Oh, the fun is beginning for sure. So we're going to take you along for the ride and we'll show you the whole process, how we take these uh, plugs and bare roots, get them potted up, where they go, and then um, probably once everything's said and done or as we go through, I'll talk about the plants that we actually have in this shipment.
my friends so we have got all of the perennials that were plugs we have got them potted so we have them all nice and lined up right here in nice little neat straight rows so obviously anything that's in a white proven winter's pot is a proven winter's plant and then um then the um the black pot is what we call non-branded right so they are all nice and snug in their uh in their rows and then what we're started on now is the um bare roots so we're doing these a little bit differently we're basically going to fill up the conveyor belt and you can see that the bare roots are we filled up the pot halfway we have a nice big these are daylilies look how nice and big that bare root is because they are just so ginormous, you just have to be a little bit extra careful with them. So we only filled the pot up halfway, and then we're gonna fill up this conveyor belt and then stop, get them nice and snug in, and Jackson and Andrew brought in extra soil. So then we will top everybody off and then tag them. So that is what the process is right now, getting everything uh, nice and snug. So working back and forth, and Jerry is up here um, plopping in the bare roots right here. And for this particular variety, um, they're getting what, two, two per, yep. Uh, getting two per pot. So they will tell us that um, just based on the size of, of the bare root. And um, Mimi and Alyssa are unboxing and making sure that they are good to go. So that is what we're doing right now. I'll, I'll show you what we're gonna happen. It's a little bit of a, the first time we pot in the season. And then whenever you throw in a brand new piece of equipment, like the conveyor belts, it always takes just a second to work out the kinks. So that's what we're doing is working out the kinks. Um, because what we found is with the plugs those are in um, like a trade gallon so it's a little bit smaller and when those trade gallons because of the size of the pot when they were hitting the seam right here of the conveyor belt because we had the conveyor belts on that pretty slow so that Mary Claire and I could get them unloaded it would hit right here and then the very last pot would fall over so <laughs> We had to put uh, the terracotta pots there kind of as a placeholder so that it would hold them on. Now with the premium gallons, because these are gonna be bigger, um, there's enough surface area. So when it's here and then it gets here, it still, it doesn't tip over. So it was really just the first, um, those smaller pots that we were having that problem with. And then of course, when we do the annuals in um, the 10 count trays, that won't be a problem at all because they're nice and long. It was just kind of those smaller individual pots. If we had had those pots in a, on it, like in a tray, then that would work out great. Um, it would be fine, but that's just, that's not how we do our, our we don't put our gallons in trays. So, um, I think that's an update for now. And then I'll show you how we get everything uh, potted up here with these bare root daylilies. All right, so this is what we're doing with the daylilies. As you can see, we've got uh, the entire line all filled up, right? The conveyor is stopped. So you put the proven winter tag in there. Um, so these have not yet been topped off. Basically, we wanted the top of the daylily even with the pot. So when Andrew comes back with the soil, um, it's nice and uh, 
it's nice and full. So we just have that extra soil and Andrew's coming back through and topping everybody off like that. Jackson is doing the same thing down there. Brennan's trying to get his pot. It's all, it's all a circus, y'all. So then what Cece did is came through and shot the little tag on right here. So this is um, because it's for retail. So it has the barcode. So when we check out, it has that, it has the name, has the price, all the things. So we're going ahead and tagging everybody. So that way we don't have to worry about it um, later on down the season. And so again, um, huge, massive. This is why we love getting our plants and these proven winter daylilies from Walters Gardens is because the root stock is massive. And when you plant this in your garden, you are going to get a big, beautiful uh, plant the very first year. This is not a puny plant whatsoever. So that is what we're doing there. Once they're all said and done, then we'll take them and then put them out uh, to grow. And then we'll run it again because we've got, I think we've got some more daylilies coming down the line. So. How we're doing day, Lilies. We are potting up um, right now the Achillea, the Firefly Sunshine. And I just have to show you how massive these roots are. So these are what we consider a grade one bare root, right? If you do any kind of mail order um, from like a retail online bare root place, you get, you can choose different sizes of bare roots. This is what you call grade one. Y'all, this thing is about as big as my head. It, they barely fit inside the pot. So just look at this for example. When we plant this, you have all, automatically, this whole plant is filling up this pot. Is that not crazy? And it's not just this one. I mean, like they're all this way. So we'll come back and add just a little bit of soil on top of them. Um, it is just insane. So even you can see some little green growth on here, even in the winter time, um, our Achillea will have a little bit of an evergreen tinge to it. Uh, but these guys are just huge. Then you come down here. This is the perennial of the year. This is the pink profusion and you can just see how it's just because of the plant. It's not that these are bad uh, plugs or anything. It's just that because of the plant and how they grow, 
So there you go. But this will be a gorgeous plant um, come spring as well. All right, I want to pop over. Um, we've got other boxes right here. I want to show you the Amsonia and the Allium. All right, so we've got two different Amsonias, both from Proven Winners, um, that we have. I have a Brenna hair hanging off my hat. Excuse me, that was driving me crazy. Um, so. We have string theory and we have storm cloud and then we have lavender bubbles which is an allium from walter's gardens not a proven winners but it is a great plant let me show you uh, again y'all i'm telling you it matters who you get your plants from so you'll see that they're packaged in they're in a plastic bag but they also have sawdust in here and that is to uh, regulate the moisture so the plastic is kind of a bit of a yin and a yang the plastic um, holds everything in, right? But it can hold a little bit of moisture. The sawdust is in here to absorb any of that moisture. But this is, this is lavender bubbles. Again, just a big, beautiful, very healthy plant. Um, these will take off and just do great. So they're in here. And then right over here, this is storm cloud. Wait until you see how these roots are, this whole thing. So it's all nice and snugged in here. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Nice size. And then, um, so obviously, pointy end goes up, roots go down. So we can get in there and we can really kind of bend them and snug them down into the pot. So big, beautiful root system on that. And then let's see. Um, trying to make sure, okay, string theory is over here. So both of these Amsonias I have um, in my home gardens and we have them in the signature garden and just beautiful. Do those true blue flowers on them, but the foliage is different, right? Look at this. Okay, here we go. Get the sawdust, the sawdust off so you can see. That's one root, y'all. This is one bare root of this string theory. Oh my gosh, it is going to take up the entire pot. Massive and gorgeous, and they are going to be stunning plants. So that is an update, and the, this is the last that we have to do. And then after this, we'll be done for the day. All right, my friends, we have got all of the perennials from today's shipment uh, are potted up and they are snug in their new home and ready to start growing. We're in the cleanup process right now because, you know, after you make things dirty, you got to clean them up. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, let me just show you. Um, I'm going to talk about and tell you the plants that we got potted up today, but I am not gonna go through major specifications. So if you wanna look up a plant, just Google it. Use your professor Google and he will tell you everything you needed to know about these plants. Um, this is just kind of an overview of the plants that we have today. We did the math and CC believes she got everybody in. 978 plants have been planted. So we have a nice section right here um, of alliums. We talked about these being alliums are great uh, deer and rabbit resistant. So this is lavender bubbles. This is a, um, a breed from Walter's Gardens. So lavender bubbles. And then we come into, we've got tons of daylilies. These are some really sweet favorites. We've got Sunday Gloves, which is a nice soft yellow. We've got Born to Run. Look at the color on that. Is that not great? And then this sweet one, this Double Parted Me. A nice rich red on that. So in the black pot, those are what we call non-branded, right? And then we come through with Proven Winners and we have, um, Brenna knows where the camera is. She likes to get in there. The Amsonia. We have storm cloud, which is called storm cloud because it will have a nice kind of a dark foliage when it comes up, a wider leaf on it. And then we have string theory and string theory is what we call a thread like um, Ansonia. So a very, very fine foliage on that one. Uh, coming in, let's see, here we go. Annual, the perennial of the year, rather, excuse me. We have pink perfusion salvia. Without a doubt, my all-time favorite perennial salvia is pink perfusion. 
The Firefly Sunshine Achillea, we've talked about that um, as far as being rabbit resistant. So we have Firefly here uh, coming on down. We Now we come into the Daylilies from Proven Winners, the Rainbow Rhythms. So we've got the new one. We've got Blazing Glory, which is the new Daylily. Uh, Ruby Spider, which is one of my all-time favorites. Gorgeous color, profuse bloomer, just stunning. If you like more of the kind of the pinky purples, look at Storm Shelter. Isn't that a beautiful plant? Oh, so pretty. So we got Storm Shelter. If you like yellow, we have Going Bananas. This is one that's been on the market for a while. Going Bananas. Um, the other new one is the Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Nice kind of a raspberry pink, pinky red on that. Another one of my favorites is Primal Scream. It is a bright, bright orange. Excuse us on that. We're still learning camera etiquette. So you've got Primal Scream and then the last, nope, not the last one. We have Nosferatu. Nosferatu is a really rich, deep, purple and then another beautiful one is um sound of my heart just a nice kind of a pink and uh, nice deep burgundy with a little bit of yellow and then finally last one is persian ruby gorgeous we've got ming's treasure this is an iris this is a huge huge iris i saw this a mature plant in the walters gardens um, garden their display garden and it was taller than I am huge the brand new Della Sperma this is the kaleidoscope this is a new series from proven winners this is pink radiance we will have razzle dazzle it just was not on this order so pink radiance and then of course our shade loving plants we've got the queen of hearts Brunnera nice and little but that's all right they will perk up they are definitely in dormant right now so you've got Queen of, my, Queen of Hearts, Heaven Scent. Heaven Scent is um, like a Jacob's Ladder. Just, again, it is dormant, but this is a great, great plant. And then we have Pulmonaria. We have Pinka Blue. And Pinka Blue is the newest of the Pulmonarias. It is a rabbit resistant as well. And it has pink flowers that turn to blue. So that is... That is a lot of different plants in a very short amount of time with zero information. So if you like a plant, you're interested in it, just go to your Google and internet, type in the name and it will, all your information will pop up. If it's a proven winners, just go to provenwinners.com and then your information will pop up there as well. But it's been a great day. It's a Friday afternoon. The rain has started yet again. Um, so it's a good, good time to uh, go home, right? absolutely all right my friends so annuals will be arriving very soon so the next time we pot up that will be annuals um and they will start we will yeah we'll get into that when we get into that as always we hope you found this fun informative and inspirational y'all have a great day we'll see you in the next video bye friends